Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're going to be going back into the expanded format today, and we are going to be looking at an expanded Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX deck, which in my opinion, this deck has a lot of potential within the expanded format, uh, mainly because Mewtwo has a bigger variety of things to choose from in expanded and this is the list that I'm working with, and honestly, Mewtwo Mew and Expanded is really good as long as your opponent um, doesn't have any way to shut you down. And to be fair, Mewtwo does have a lot of counters right now, which is kind of its main issue. But again, this deck is really good if they have no way to stop Mewtwo. So before we get in the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Kirk Kevin TCG. Guys, as always, if you're ever looking to get any PDCGO pack codes, if you're trying to get Hidden Fates codes still, or Unified Minds codes, or any other PDCGO codes, like Unbroken Bonds or Team Up, or like any trainer kit, pre-release kit codes, if you're looking for like Jirachi or something from the pre-release kits. Uh, they also have a singles website if you're just looking for the normal Pokemon in real life card singles. You can head over in the description below to the two links I've got for Card Cavern TCG's two sites. If you end up ordering something from Card Cavern TCG and picking something up, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel and all that good stuff. So yeah, shout out to Card Cavern TCG. Make sure to check them out. So let's look into the list. So the thing with Mewtwo and Expanded is, yes, in Expanded, Mewtwo is a lot more counterable. But at the same time, Mewtwo and Expanded is also very much more powerful because of how many options you have um, to use this thing with. So let's look at all the Pokemon I've chose. So we got some of the simple things we already know in Standard, uh, plus one new card. So we'll get some of the Standard stuff out of the way. Uh, I got the Espeon Deoxys in here. This is mainly just here for stuff like uh, Night March. Night March is pretty winnable thanks to Jolteon, but with Espeon and Deoxys, you guarantee it. Because Night March sometimes plays the... Uh, Pokemon Ranger in their list for like Toad and, Gla and Jolteon so if you just cross division them put 20 damage on the board you can win the game with just by doing that so that's why the Espeon Deoxys is in here uh I got the double Greninja combo expanded is a weird format there's stuff like Hoopa, Lola Ninetales, Kelio GX and uh, because expanded is not really like the format that's the most popular with all the good decks you might I might run into a few random decks that have Hoopas and stuff so I just need to make sure I have an answer to that with Miss Slash here and it's also just really good in general in case we run into like another Jolteon or something. Um, and then of course we have the Greninja GX here with Hay Slash and Shadowy Hunter. I still think Hay Slash is insanely powerful with Mewtwo. And we have the option to do Shadowy Hunter too. Uh, this is mainly good if, you know, a Garboder hits the board or potentially an Alolan Muck is coming down. We can Shadowy Hunter the Grimer. That's why that's in there. We got the Nagandel GX with Venom Shot in the deck too. Venom Shot is still really good in a format where Tapu Lele is going to be used. So that's why that's in here. Another standard card I put in here is actually going to be Articuno Multra Zapdos Tag Team GX. Um, now this isn't too hard to build up. Uh, one Welder for two energies already gives you the two energies. You got the Carlos and the Fire Energy. A Prism Energy would be on it. So then the following turn, if you play another Prism Energy on, you get Trinity Burn powered up. And this can one-shot Zoark GX, but you can also use it for Sky Legends GX. In a format with Shaman in the, in the format, Sky Legends GX can be really busted and help you win the game that way. So those are some of the new stand the standard cards I've added to the deck. But then we have all the expanded options. So first off, we have Noivern GX. Uh, better than Toad because Quaking Punch only does 30. Noivern can also use Sonic Volume for 120, which prevents your opponent from attaching any special energy cards, which once again can give you an auto win against Zoark GX and potentially Night March. And that's why it's good in here for Distort too. The Gardevoir GX is another pretty cool option I put in here, mainly for twi Infinite Force, not you know, Twilight, Infinite Force. Uh, Infinite Force can be really good to be able to take a big knockout on something with a lot of energy. This is really nice for sometimes against like Pikaram and Reshizard where they'll have like four or five energies on them and then you just infinite force them for the knockout. Pretty good card to have in my opinion. And you have Twilight GX which could be good. Uh, of course I got Charizard GX in here. Raging Out is really good. Discarding the top 10 cards of your opponent's deck. There could be a situation where we use Raging Out to win the game. Especially in a deck that lowers their deck size quite a bit. Raging Out can go a long way. And then we got the two Ace in the Hole cards. Glaceon and Jolteon. Glaceon is here for evolution decks, so I don't know, think of Zoark GX, think of potentially, uh, you know, Greninja maybe, but Greninja is like already hard to beat anyways because of Shadow Switching, but you just think of those evolution decks like Zoark. And then the Jolteon. Now Jolteon is arguably the best card in this deck because all the decks that play no basics like Picarom, Reshizard might not play any, Night March even, any deck that has no evolution Pokemon pretty much just auto loses to Flash Ray, so... Yeah, we get Flash Ray built up through Welder and Prism or Rainbow Energy. If we get a turn one or turn two Flash Ray off, it's like GG a lot of the time. The opponent has no way of dealing with it. And uh, the other tech cards I got, of course, Lele to find Welder. Lele is really good in this deck. And then we got one Jirachi in the deck for Psychic Zone, just in case you run into another Psychic deck like our Boater. 
And of course we got the Verizian in the deck because Laser is actually really popular right now to take out tag teams like Dead NGX Laser. Eradicate Laser is also a bit of a worry. So that's why I got the uh, Verizian in here to help us out in those matchups. And that's it for the Pokemon. There's obviously a ton of other options. Other things I was considering was Tauros GX. Uh, also another cool kid thing, you could still play the Sogaleo GX with Turbo Strike if you want. There's a billion different options for Mewtwo. That's the fun thing. I'm probably going to revisit this archetype maybe with like Mega Rayquaza. Uh, now let's go into the items and supporters. There's a lot of things to go into here. Uh, so we got three battle compressors. One of the best things about this archetype is you also have battle compressor to put Pokemon in your discard pile instead of having to rely on them to be in your hand. One computer search, get any card you want. Two field blowers to be able to get rid of any tools. Especially if you're running into Garbo Toxin or Silent Lab, you have to have field blower to stop that. I got one Fire Crystal in the deck to be able to get my energies back. Four Treasures, and uh, I've gone with two Ultra Balls. Treasures is better than Ultra Ball, because you can just treasure one card away, and then, you know, just get your Mewtwo, get your Lele, get your Drachi. Now, here's the interesting thing. A lot of people might be confused, but yes, we are playing three copies of Random Receiver, and here's why Random Receiver is good in this deck. So, we are playing the Welder Engine. I think the Welder Engine is still the best way to play this deck, in my opinion. Um... Because if you can build up a turn 1 Mewtwo with Giant Hearth and Welder and Prism Energy and get like a turn 1 Flash Ray off, it's really busted. So that's why the Welder is really important here. The Welder Engine is really good. And we're going all in with 4. Funny enough, I was trying out Blacksmith originally, but it doesn't actually work with non-Fire Pokemon. So I took a bit of an L there. Um, but we only play 7 supporters. We have 1 Lysander, 1 Juniper, 1 Cynthia, 4 Welders. We have more Welders than we do other Supporters. So, in theory, Random Receiver should find us our Supporters, and it should find us Welder most of the time. This is a better option than Pokegear, because Pokegear only looks at the top 7 cards, and we only play 7 Supporters, and we might prize a couple, and then we only have like 5 or 6 in the deck. Random Receiver is just way better to guarantee the Welder. So, yeah, this is 20 times better than Pokegear in this deck, and that's why it's in here to find that turn 1 Welder a lot easier. 3 VS Seekers, of course, we don't need to go 4. And we got 3 Giant Hearth. One of the most important cards in this deck is going to be Giant Hearth to get those 2 energies from you 2 uh, I am playing the Cynthia. Cynthia is just nice and simple. It's better than N. Because this deck denies prizes a lot of the time through like Greninja and the, the Evolutions and Sky Legends GX, you don't really ever have to worry about losing prizes a lot of the time, so you never really care to end your opponent. And Reset Stamp is banned, so you can't really play it. Uh, we got one Lysander in the deck. I like Lysander than Guzma. Because a lot of the time you'll have something on your bench that can't retreat for free. So Lysander is just better in my opinion. One Juniper. Juniper is still really good regardless. Just getting that nice 7 hand is good. And it discards cards from your hand too. So get rid of filler Pokemon. Two Funny Fairy Belt. I like this better than Choice Band. It gives Mewtwo 310 HP. Which makes it even more deadlier. And if you also choose to attack with Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. It gets 340 HP. Uh, got one DC just mainly here. We can go DC, Prism Energy, Mewtwo. That could work too. And also, adding extra 60 damage for Gardevoir, you can also use this with Venom Shot too. Got four Prisms, one Rainbow. I like playing it safe and having the extra energy for Mewtwo. And then I got six Fire Energy to round up the list. But yeah, this is my expanded Mew3 deck. So obviously Mew3 is hard um, to win. If you're playing Mew3, it's hard to win against Alola Muck, Shadow Stitching, Silent Lab, Garbotoxin, Power Plant. But if they don't have any of those things in the deck, you're fine. And if they do get them down, you have other attackers like Moltres Articuno, like Greninja GX, uh, like Jolteon, like Glaceon, like Espeon Deoxys, and Lele. So you still have a lot of other attackers if your opponent is able to shut off Mewtwo effectively. Uh, you still have this thing which can win you against Zoark GX. So this deck still can beat those matchups even with those Silent Labs and stuff. But yeah, let's go get some games. Enough blabbing. Alright guys, we're going to get into some games now with Expanded Mew3. So one of the issues with Mew3 and Expanded is that... There's a lot of, uh, or not Mew3 and Expanded, the issue, well, I guess there's a lot of issues, obviously. Silent Lab, Garboder, Muck, Shadow Stitching, but, 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 all is not lost because Expanded Mew3, we can get some good games because Expanded is a weird format. Not a lot of good decks are actually seen a lot of the time, so it's weird. Uh, we're up against a Fire deck, it looks like. And, oh, it's still Jirachi. We have no energy in our hand. I mean, he might be generous zone donating us a giant hearth. Which is good, but I don't know. His hand is pretty poop. Um, okay, that's a decent top deck. We'll get rid of the Welder, I guess. Get Mewtwo. Let's just check the deck. So we have Jolteon. That's pretty much all we need to do to win is just use Jolteon. We do have the Greninjas too. We have Articuno in the deck. We do have 6 Energy. We have our two other draw supporters. So we can DC the Mewtwo. Oh, he just concedes the game. 
He just concedes. Okay, so he actually had a Salazzle GX in the deck, which could have attacked me if I used Jolteon. Which is interesting, but... Yeah, I don't really see how my opponent had an out there. Other than that Salazzle. Nice quick win with Mewtwo. Not bad, not bad if I do this on myself. That's the thing with Mewtwo, like... You're gonna get a lot of quick games with the deck, because... If you get... If you pretty much just get, like, an easy lock on them with one of the, uh, Eeveelutions... The opponent just sometimes concedes the game, because they're like, well, there's literally nothing I can do right now, so I'm just going to lose and scoop the game up. Alright, we're up against, it looks like, Pikaram here, potentially, which we have Flash Ray, so as long as Flash Ray, as long as we don't prize our Jolteon, we should be good at winning Pikaram, because they don't have an answer to you. We actually have, like, stuff like Garvor GX, too, which could be pretty good. And alright, I, uh, like this opening hand a lot. This is pretty good. We can computer search here, get ourselves a giant hearth. Let's get rid of a few cards, though. Like, we got an energy top deck. Um, and we could always DC, though, too, and then just get a prism energy and boop, pop that on and go for a turn to Jolteon play. Which actually doesn't seem too bad, to be honest with you. Mewtwo's not going to get KO'd here, I don't think. We can welder to it, too draw three cards. Yeah, let's do that instead. We could potentially get hit with a thing. Okay, there's a computer search. Alright, let's just get Balkan Presser then. Uh, we'll get rid of... Do we want to get rid of the Bear Trio? Yeah, I think so. Sky Legends could be good if he plays a Shaman down. We'll get rid of the Garvor. We'll get Battle Compressor. Jolteon is not prize. I'm starting to maybe just think, just play two Jolteons. Because <laughs> Jolteon's more important than Glaceon. Get you in there, get you in there, and get you in there. We'll pass. As long as we just get knocked out here, we'll, we'll be good to win the game. We'll see. If he donks me, I'm going to cry, but I have high doubts he will. Maybe I should have played Lele down just in case he donks me, but again, I doubt he's going to get a donk here. He's going to go to Dene, gets rid of four, three energies. There's an Eevee, so he's playing Jolteon on the deck. What the? Zap those. Okay. So, he does have Jolteon, which can attack me, which is not the best thing on the planet, but whatever. Alright, we got Welder in there. I think we gotta go Juniper. Yeah, we'll go Juniper. So, what we're looking for here is a, um, just a Rainbow or Prism Energy. I mean, I'm not a fan of discarding the VS Seeker. We still have two left. The Lele being on the bench is also a little sketch, but whatever. <sighs> we whiffed the Energy. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. What can we attack with here? Nothing, really. Bruh. Uh, seriously, we had to whip the energy. I guess I can energy drive. It's pretty annoying that we whip the energy. I could get another Mewtwo down. I don't want to play as a Lele down either. That's the other annoying thing. I think we'll have to Welder next turn, so I'm going to hold that energy. Or just energy drive. Dang, that is super annoying, whipping that Prism. 90 damage, though, not bad. He's got 150 HP, so it's a lot easier to KO now, which is pretty good. Mewtwo should live. He does have the option of taking with Jolteon, but I'm fine with that. Especially if we can build up the Articuno. We can knock go. No, I Why 120 HP, really? And a rough seas. Okay, whatever. As long as he doesn't have a Thundermound here, yeah, he obviously won't. Never mind. Never mind. So we're gonna have to go Welder. Because I can't really afford to play down another type of Lele. Right, I'll get rid of a treasure. Alright, we better not with. We literally only have Welder in the deck, so this is guaranteed to get us Welder. See, this is why I like Random Receiver over anything else. If we don't have any supporters, we can get away with it. We'll treasure away this energy, I think. Get another Mewtwo down. Seems good. We definitely want to probably double down on our Mewtwo's here. Because then we can welder the other Mewtwo. Instead of having to build this Mewtwo up, which we don't really need to do. We'll have two in play. Alright, Prism. Bruh. Oh my gosh. Dude, these Prism energies don't want to come out and play today. <sighs> That's pretty annoying. Energy drive again. 
That is super frustrating. He's got a 70 HP though, so Sky Legends is looking pretty juicy. You can also snipe him with Greninja GX or Naganado. Bro, that is so frustrating though. Hopefully this Fighting Fairy Bell saves from getting KO'd. Because, oh my, two Electro Powers. If he knocks me out here, I quit. Like, I actually quit. Hopefully Giant Hearth stays in play too. Another Electro Power. Holy cow. At least he's committing at once. He doesn't knock me out. That's three Electro Powers. Gone. So that's at least the good thing. Tag Bolt is doing 290 damage. He needs a Choice Band here to knock me out or another Electro Power. But he's already played his Cynthia. He's going to full blitz me. 240 freaking damage. Holy cow. Oh, he didn't build up the Jolteon though, which is good. There's a Via Seeker. That will get us Cynthia. I think we're going to play Cynthia. Could go for another Welder. There's no need to. All right, if we do not find Prism Energy, I give up. There we go. We got two of them. With 70 HP though, I mean, it's pretty likely he could head bolt knock me out. Maybe I just go, what do I want to do? I could knock him out Glaceon, though he knocks him out Pikachu. that's stupid. Yeah, I think we just hope he doesn't get a KO here. Holy attacks. I could go sh I could technically do um, Greninja's other attack though. What's it called? Hay Slash. I could Hay Slash. And then bring in the Tapu Lele and let him knock it out. Nah, that seems kind of silly. I think we just knock him out with Energy Drive. Or not Energy Drive. Flash Ray. And then hope Jolteon doesn't KO me. He's already played 3 powers. I have 70 HP. He needs to just go Head Bolt. But we are getting 3 prizes here. We have Lysander in hand too, so I mean, we do have the option to potentially Lysander this up and knock it out with uh, a big old attack from our uh, Gardevoir. There's a Lily. He has no room for Zero Aura, which is insane. Pikachu has a three retreat cost, so I actually don't even think he's going to be able to go this turn. Yeah, he's going to full blitz. And I think that's game. We're doing a lot of damage here. We have Gardevoir in the discard. Oh, I can also go Sky Legends, too. Why is he built... What, what are you doing? Why are you building yourself up? Okay, let's do... Hold on, how many energy in the discard? One. Yeah, let's do this. Get rid of the... Um, probably just one of the other Mewtwo's. I think this is game. Hold on, let me just count. He's got six... Yeah, this is game. There's no way it's not game. We just Welder. Attach Prism. Overkill. I don't know, like why he's not building up the Jolteon, but whatever. I don't know, man. But here we go. Infinite Force for a lot of damage. It's going to be like 400 damage almost. Literally on the dot. Mewtwo, you dirty dog. I also could have went for Sky Legends too, which I was really contemplating, but then I just realized that he put all six energy on him. I still would have won the game regardless, though, even if he didn't put this, if he didn't go with the extra three energies. Garvor GX and Mewtwo Mew is uh, just a little busted. We are going to get a bunch of tourney tickets here, which is, I mean, not super amazing. That was a pretty good game. Uh, yeah, Pigarom is quite literally one of your best matchups because once, if you get the Jolteon in play quick enough, or not in play, but if you get the Jolteon off quick enough, Mewtwo Mew just kind of perfections its way to winning the game. They did have the Jolteon GX in the deck, but they weren't able to really do anything with it, so we didn't have to worry about that getting in the way. And, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good match showing off how Pikachu is winning. How, how it's winnable. Sorry, that made no sense. All right, well, see you guys in another match. All right, guys, we're going to get into another game here with Mew3. Let's keep chucking through some matches, seeing what we can play against, and seeing how we do in PDC Joe's meta. All right, we're up against a fighting deck, which is pretty good. Uh, one of the nice things about playing this deck is, like, there's going to be a lot of fighting in Expanded because Dark Box and Pikachu and Zoark are all big things, so... Having the advantage of beating fighting types is a huge deal, I think. As long as we just don't get a bad start. Which, well, I'll take it. That's not a, I've seen worse hands. As long as we start with Mewtwo and not, like, Jirachi or Lele, then I'm happy. That is one of the issues with Mewtwo, is you might not start with it. So maybe playing, like, a couple Switches or a Floatstone would be bad. Maybe that's a better reason to play Guzma instead of Lysander. 
I don't know, there may be some tweaks you can make to this deck. Overall, though, I think this deck is still busted and really good. Curious to see if they're going to be playing Garboder in the deck, though. They could be playing a Buzz Garb Shrine deck. There's a Laser, that's fine. We have Verizian. Good thing they didn't get heads. And if they end me here, that could suck. Yep, it is going to be a Buzz Garb deck. Oh no, it's going to be Hitmonchan, it looks like. There's a Master Ball. Going to get him. Oh, it's a Dawn Fan deck. Okay. Well. If we get Glaceon in play, we don't really have to worry about this matchup too much. The Shrine is a little annoying. Hopefully we can get a uh, giant Hearth top deck. That'd be nice. Let's see if my opponent plays that Tain Liza they have. Yep, they are. Only a Shuffle for five. So they're not ending me, which is fine, I guess. I, this hand is decent, I guess. Like It's not the end of the world. We could potentially like go for like a turn one infinite force, I guess. I don't know. All right, what do we draw here? Turn one welder, that is pretty good. So I think we'll treasure away the Juniper. We'll uh, get ourselves that good old Tapu Lele. Get a welder, we, so we prized a welder. We do have our giant hearth though, which is a very important thing to note. We'll get ready for Mewtwo. We need to just make sure we didn't prize Glaceon here. That's about it. We'll play down the Verizian. And we'll welder. I kind of wish I could thin my hand a little bit more. Okay, we didn't get a battle compressor. That's unfortunate. So we don't really have anything to attack with here. Right? Yeah, there's nothing I can attack with. No, actually, you know, I could just go Noivern too. Yeah, you know what? Let's go Noivern. Then you can't play uh, Field Blur. Or Floatstone. Yeah, that's actually really good. Uh, what do I want to get rid of though? Mewtwo or Lele? Probably the Mewtwo, just because we can probably run with one for now. We can bump that shrine. I don't want to give him the giant hearth, but you know what? This does seem like a big brain play. This does seem like the big brain play to do. Hit him for 100, and they're item locked, so the Buzzwool cannot move from the active spot. Now we just... Get Glaceon and uh, we should be able to win the game because I doubt my opponent has any other thing to attack with other than the Buzzwool. Which is good. We'll see if they have another Shrine though. They may be playing Dojo too. So they could maybe truck me for damage at some point. But for the most part, we should be fine. They could actually power up that Wobbuffet. So we have to get ready to maybe get a Lysander off on that. I mean, I could just Lele for Lysander here. If I can, if I can draw a Battle Crest for Glaceon, I could do that. Knock out the Wob. No, we drew a Gardevoir, though. Could Cynthia. I think I just Juniper. We'll just play the Juniper. Battle Compressor. There it is. Nice. We'll put Glaceon in there. We'll put the Bird Trio. Because Sky Legend, I think, will be huge. And I think we'll just put the Naganadel in there. No, I'll put the Greninja in there. We might need to use Greninja at some point. You never know. And I think I just attack. There's like a billion attacks here. But yeah, we can Crystal Ray. And now the only thing that can attack me is Fampy and Wobbuffet. We do have a random receiver though. And if he doesn't end me, we could random receiver into that Lysander. So see, we're going to get a Welder or a Lysander. And then we can Lysander the Wobbuffet up. Knock that out. He's probably actually going to go into it. We'll see. He can attack me here and do damage to me, which is the good thing. I need to get ready for more Shrine, though. Yeah, spinning turn. No damage. Probably going to bring in the Robo Sub. I can then... I could actually Shadowy Hunt her the Dawn Fan if I wanted to. I think I'd rather wait to do Sky Legend, though. Sky Legend just seems really good. If we can wipe out a bunch of Pokemon at once, that could be our win condition. Because all we need is a Prism Energy, and we can do Sky Legends. That's why the Bird Trio is so busted. And he's bringing in the Wob, which is perfect, actually. Um, the only thing I really need right now is a second Mewtwo. What do I want to get rid of here? I guess Welder and Random Receiver. Let's get the other Mewtwo ready to go. Play Giant Hearth. 
one energy. Okay, we have our fire crystal in the deck, so it's fine. Okay, not bad. We got a computer search, which is good. And I think I'm just going to go for the attack here. I mean, the only way Wobbuffet could damage me technically is if he just went rainbow energy with uh, counter game, but I doubt he's got that. Or he could play a counter energy, I guess, too. We have a pretty good lock on him. He can't play laser. He can't damage me with Dawn Fan. He could bring in the Robo Sub, technically draw out of this, get a uh, Buzzwill Sledgehammer me. That's his only out right now. Or just attack me with like another Fampy and hope he gets strong energy, Diancie, Fighting Dojo. Other than that though, this uh, game is pretty much, in my opinion, in the book. There's a re- I thought this was banned. I guess it just hasn't been applied yet. I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. That hand wasn't even that great. I do have to watch out for Enhanced Hammer. That's why I'm not rushing to play my Special Energy in case he's playing Enhanced Hammer. And I wouldn't put it past him to be playing a couple of Enhanced Hammers. So... I think I just keep attacking him. He's got no cards in his hand. We're not in any rush right now. We can just keep attacking and going from there. And, I mean, if we take one more prize, then he gets to the point where he benches something. Oh, we're good. Maybe I should have just went, ooh, chorus, but only for four, which is not great. I think it's fine to sit on the hand. We don't have a lot of supporters, so if in any event he ends me or resets against me again and we need a supporter, I'm not going to go. Yeah, he's going to concede. He's just like, I'm out of here. Mew 3, guys. It is expanded and expanded. It is super deadly, bro. Oh, my. Easy dubs. Easy, easy dubs. The deck is busted. What can I say? The deck is really good. Really, really good. Ah, well, see so you guys another game. We just basically showed off how the Glaceon shuts people out of matches. And again, even if he did anything and he ended up benching a bunch of stuff without having a Mime or a Mew down, I would have just went for Sky Legend and just won the game. So yeah, Mew 3 and Expanded, dude. It's nothing to mess with. It is nothing to mess with. You get that turn 2 lock. All right, guys, we're going to get into another game here with our Expanded Mew 3 deck. Uh, maybe we can try to use Sky Legends this time. I want to try that, maybe. Try out some other things. All right, what are we up against here? Um, Fighting Grass Psychic. I don't know what to expect. Could be a Zoark deck though, which if it is, we are going to have to be ready for the Birds Trio GX to come and clutch. All right, let's see if he is and what he is playing in general. Um, oh wow, talk about a good hand! Holy cow! As long as we don't get Ender Marshadowed, this hand is pretty, pretty good. This is a pretty good hand. We'll see what happens. I'm a little worried, of course, about that muck, but that, you may not be playing Zoark. I'm just going to start with a Tapu Lele. Okay, so we'll Battle Compressor here. Get rid of Gardevoir, Glaceon, Jolteon. Get a Welder. Get ourselves that beautiful Welder. We'll see what these three cards are. Gotta hope they're goodies. I get, he could energy drive me by doing this, but I don't really care. Okay, we got another energy. We have an ultra ball. I could ultra ball here, get a, uh, what would I get? Probably nothing. I think I just hold the hand, to be honest with you. So he could energy drive me. If he does, whatever. If he ends up... Okay, this is a Zoark deck. Maybe. Is it going to be Zoark? Lost March. Bro, what the heck? Are you kidding me, bro? Seriously, who plays Lost March still? Uh, so Glaceon and Jolteon are both going to be pretty good here. Sky Legends GX is also going to be really busted. Though we definitely need to make sure that we get that Jirachi in place. So we're probably going to have to Ultra Ball for Jirachi here so that we don't get knocked out by Lost March. If Jirachi's prized, I'm going to cry. If Silent Lab's in the deck too, or Power Plant, we're also kind of screwed. But I, I doubt he's playing any of those. Maybe the power plant, but I don't know. Him having Leyland in play is nice, because that's a Venom Shot target. So our wing edition would be just, like, Sky Legend GX, knock out Lele with, like, thing. With, um, what's, what do you call it? With, uh, with a beautiful old thing. I, I can't remember the attack name, I don't know why. Distort. There's a giant hearth. 
Okay, so we can just do this. Just go boop, boop. Get ourselves Jirachi. Please don't be prized. Okay, good. I don't know what I want to do. I think I might have the Flash Ray. Alright, here we go, Juniper. Okay, pretty good hand. Okay, what do we get rid of here? You. Get rid of you. We might actually use this. But no, we can. No, we'll leave it for next turn. I think we'll get rid of Charizard, too. I think I'm just gonna take a knockout. Or not knockout, sorry, just attack with. What do I wanna do? Flash Ray or Crystal Ray? It's a tough decision. I think, yeah, I think Flash Ray is the best play here, and then go Sky Legend next turn, knock out a few Jump Plus, because the reason why I want to do this, he can't then go Energy Drive, he can't do Lost March, he has to attack me with Jump Plus, but you know what, we could also Sky Legend him next turn too, potentially, we just have to make sure we have another Mewtwo down, so, that's it. So as long as this thing doesn't retreat with Jump Pluff, I'm fine. But he doesn't have much going in the Lost Zone anyway. He's only got two things going in the Lost Zone. So it's not like he's doing much damage anyways. We can honestly just Sky Legend the Lele and knock out two Jump Pluffs and leave him with just a Natu. That can't even hit me for weakness thanks to Jirachi. Which seems pretty powerful. But then I have to shovel the Mewtwo back. So there's a few complications with that. So we might want to wait to do Sky Legend GX. There's an energy. Please don't have a switch or a float. He could knock out. If Jirachi actually gets knocked out too, we are in trouble. Because of that Natu. Let's see what he's doing here. Let's see if he bumps my stadium. He might be playing Shine of Punishment too. There's an Ultra Ball. That's probably going to get a Mars Shadow. Which then kind of takes away the whole thing I want to do. He could get a Ranguru too. He could be playing two Tapu Leles, which I mean if he is... That makes this win even easier. Yeah, it's gonna get Mars Shadow, I figured. Hopefully he let loose himself into a bad hand. Then we can Crystal Ray the Lele. We are gonna lose our Prisms. We still have two Leles in the deck, right? Yeah, and we still have Treasures. I'm not really too concerned about this let loose bricking me. As long as he doesn't get a way to attack me with Jump Pluff, then I'm fine. Because the less damage Mewtwo takes, the easier this win will be. Alright, come on. Don't get a switching card for the love of Pokemon. You can still get a supporter, though. That's the only problem. And don't brick me. That's fine. Cross Division might also be pretty good, too. I'll work with it. As long as we have that Prism 2 to potentially go with a Sky Legend GX, and I'm also pretty happy. Alright, just an Elm. Alright, that's good. That's not a draw supporter. So we'll see if he has an out here to doing anything... I think I just uh, Crystal Ray him. But no, you could then do Energy Drive. I don't know. Maybe I just keep doing Flash Ray. Uh, Sky Legend DX would be good too, but I don't know if I want to do that. Or you know what? You Maybe it is better to go. Because we could just bring in the Espeon Deoxys. Which kind of works out well too. Do I have two fires in the deck? Screw it. We'll go for it. I should. Yep, yeah, we do. Okay, good. We can build up Espeon Deoxys. Go Sky Legend here. Alright, we get another Mewtwo down. I like to see it. So we can keep locking him. Or we do our Sky Legend now and knock out three Jump Pluffs. Knock out two Jump Pluffs and take the knock it on Lele. I think the Lele prize is just too good not to do. It's too good not to do, man. Where is it? Sky Legend. Do I want it? I do want to take damage though before I do it. Like, Mewtwo probably won't get knocked out here, so I could also afford just to knock him out with, like, Trinity Burn or something. Like, I guess maybe it is better to wait a turn. I think it might actually be better to wait a turn before we do Sky Legend GX. I want to take damage, too. Well, how much things do you have in the Lost Zone? It's only doing 80. 
Yeah, it's pretty much... I don't think he's going to reach enough to knock me out. Yeah, I think we'll wait a turn to do Sky Legend EX. We'll wait one turn, and then we'll do it. Like, I know I could take in four prizes there, but... I think it's fine to wait. Another giant hearth. We can't play that. We need to get our fire crystal. Get this Mewtwo built up. We have our Cynthia, right? So we played our Juniper, yes. We still have our Cynthia. <laughs> so we take some... We sponge some damage, and then we Sky Legend, knock out three Jump Luffs. Like, we're gonna get two shot here. I've come to accept that he's doing 120. If we get knocked out here, though, I quit, but we'll see. Okay, pff, if that's a Cynthia, that's gonna be pretty bad. Okay, good. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna shuffle the energy back, so we can still leave Giant Hearth Welder. Okay, you know what? Yes, things kind of still work out for us. Even if he bumps the Cynthia, because we sold the Welder Giant Hearth combo. Because we're gonna put two energy back in the deck. There's an Ultra Ball. I really gotta hope he's not playing Silent Lab, bro. That's gonna mess me up. That's really gonna mess me up. If he knocks me out here, man, this game ain't gonna end too well. Even though we still have Cross Division. We know there's no supporter on the top of my deck, so these Trumbeaks aren't hitting anything. If we get knocked out this turn, I'm screwed. We gotta hope he doesn't get a KO here. He's got one card left in his hand. He got rid of an Oranguru, so I gotta assume that's a supporter card. Nope, it's not. He's actually just gonna lost much for 160 damage. Alright, what do we draw? The yeah, Seeger is amazing. Just gonna bench another Mewtwo. And we're gonna Sky Legend GX here. One, two, three. Knock out those jump plus. Now bring in the Espeon Deoxys. Even if it gets knocked out, we should be fine to win the game. We just need two energies. We're taking three prizes. He could end me to one, which is a little bit of a worry. Just gotta hope these prizes aren't like cards I can't play. Okay, another prism is amazing. Another bell. Okay, so pretty good prizes. He might not end me to one, though. He hasn't played anything. He had nothing last turn. But yeah, we should win the game here. That Sky Legend sweep was epic. Okay, there's a great ball. Could get another Tapu Lele. No, Trombeak. That's not a Pokemon that can give him an out. Maybe he saw the Sky Legend coming, and maybe he has an N in his hand, or a reset stamp, and he was holding on to it on purpose. We'll see, though. He's doing 180. Oh, he get Lele back, or Ranguru. He's probably going to get Lele back. Yep, Lele. He's going to end me to 1. Things could get scary. He hasn't taken a prize yet, so I can afford to maybe lose a prize. Let's say it's not the end of the world. Oh, he just scoops. Mew3 Sky Legend GX. It's pretty insanely good. But yeah, that'll wrap up the day's PDCGO video here, guys. I think showing off expanded Mew3. Let me just see if he had an N. He did not. So he had no way to stop that hand I had. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Sky Legend GX is really good with Mew3. But that'll wrap up the day's PDCGO video, guys, with the expanded Mew3 deck. Showing off everything this deck can really do. Um... You can still do a lot of things with Rage now. We never got in a position where we could use it, though. But, yeah, I do really like Mew3 and Expand it a lot. I think it is a very good deck. I think it has a lot of potential to be a great expanded deck. You just have to figure out how to get past, like, Silent Lab, Garbodor, Muck, and Shadow Stitching. Um, but, like, having the, the Bird Trio is really good, too, for situations where they might go Shadow Stitching. Or, like, if they might get the Muck in play. You can use the Bird Trio against Zork GX, which one-shots it. And then you can use, like, Sky Legend to, like, destroy an entire field of shaman so like you still have a lot of outs to the mew3 or the zork matchup the greninja matchup's a little sketchy other than that i think this deck is really good and it's really powerful because you have a toolbox of options to use this deck is like almost unstoppable if it gets set up in time and it just runs your opponent over but that'll wrap the video thanks for watching check out the sponsor card at tcg down below use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order support the channel support card and tcg and all that good stuff follow me on twitter down below too if you want to stay up to date with my tweets and deck list I post. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to Home of the Road to 6K subs. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and bye-bye. That's Expanding Mew 3 for you. Peace out. Have a good day.